what's going on my people today we're going to talk about a civivi but first as usual please make sure you check out dnk knives whenever you are uh in the feeling the itch to uh, be shopping for knives which let's face it that's everybody all the time or anybody that's watching this video and if you purchase something from there you can use this coupon code behind the edge 10 to get 10 percent off uh, which is very helpful um, I don't make a thing off of that, but uh, Mr. Don Farmer from DNK has been very good to me, so I am trying to return the favor and uh, help him out. This is called the Civivi Brazen. This is one of the Civivis that I got from Walmart. It's about 50 bucks, and for that $50, you get a G10 handle, liner lock, uh, D2 blade, um, this is a fairly full size knife, I guess you would call it. Three and a half inch blade. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing too crazy. Um, and honestly, just hard to get excited about, uh, budget knives. So, you know, this is, a this is a knife channel and I try to show as much different stuff as possible, but just to be completely honest and frank, I don't, uh, typically get excited about budget knives like this. Um, but that being said, this one's not too bad, so we're going to put it up against a couple other Civivis that are very popular for a uh, size comparison. This is the Cubit, this is the Praxis Mini. Um, the Brazen is much, much better than the Praxis Mini. Uh, the Cubit is a fantastic knife, but a completely different type of knife. Uh, here it is against... The uh, full size uh, 229, the Benchmade Crooked River. So it has a decent size to it. Let's do one more. Why not? The Chad. So basically, just showed you my entire collection in its entirety as a bonus. Um, carried this a couple days. Um, usually, I like to carry a knife about a a week maybe a little longer before I do a review video on it but I'm pretty sure I got the gist of this one Tanto blade flat grind uh, fairly thin behind the edge but a little thicker up front but the tip is still extraordinarily thin so uh, if you have one of these or you want to purchase one be careful with that tip it is definitely not uh, a pry tool in any way uh, very dainty, about the level of a uh, paramilitary too, so real skinny. Yeah, uh, what looks to be an aluminum backspacer with a lanyard, uh, lanyard hole, a lanyard attachment there. Skeletonized liners, uh, fairly lightweight, not too bad. Uh, deep carry clip that is not inset into the G10 for some reason. Even the Praxis Mini, it is inset into the G10, so... Not sure why, and the Cubit, which is aluminum, so not sure why they didn't sink this one, um, and they did the other ones, which are basically the same price. Uh, again, not sure why they did that. Not very heavy, but we'll go ahead and put a get a weight on it real quick. Uh, that's in grams. I don't know how we did that. Ounces. 3.7 ounces for a three and a half inch blade. So that's that's what all you technical fellas are going to want to see. Uh, very close to uh, perfect. Anyway, uh, action um, standard for Civivi. It is quite good. Uh, they do a great job with their bearings. Um, action is fantastic. Now, the two days that I did carry it at work, um, I, I actually used it quite a bit, more than I typically do. Um, I use a knife a lot at work, but I used the crap out of this one just for those two days. Uh, and it did great. It did much, much better than I expected. Um, and typically a Tanto is not my style. I don't own any other Tantos. That I, yeah, I don't own any other ones. Um, they're cool. I like the... I like the look of it. Um, it's just not something I gravitate towards uh, typically. Uh, but that point right there comes in handy 
for lots and lots of things, especially opening packages. Uh, draw cuts that need to be pretty precise works out great, which anybody that's ever had a Tantel knows that. Um, flipper action is not quite as good as uh, the thumb stud action, but I gravitate towards thumb stud anyway. So for $50, though, um, this is pretty damn good. The G10 feels really good. I like the color. It's not black, and it's not, your, you know, drab green and stuff. It's 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 a little different, and I think it's pretty cool. The uh, finish on the blade will absolutely uh, help out with the uh, being a little rust preventative of the D2 blade. It looks good, and the covers wear quite good. I, I like it a lot. I prefer it over... Even satin blade, which looks fantastic, but it's a fingerprint magnet, and I just can't stand fingerprints. Like on this, it's driving me nuts, but there's really nothing you can do about it on a satin or a uh, shiny blade. So I prefer this, because you can touch it, you can mess with it, and it doesn't make it look dumb. Which, I know it's a tool, but I still think about stuff like that, and I'm sure most of you guys do as well. Um... Yeah, not bad. I'm not going to drag this video out any much uh, farther than that. For $50, available at Walmart, you can just go pick it up anytime. You know, it's to me, it's a, it's a good buy. Um, still, I find it really hard to get excited about knives like this. And I don't, uh, I don't know why. Other than I have owned in the past many, many high-end custom knives, high-end production knives... I've had some of the, you know, most awesome knives ever. And uh, I guess once you get into that uh, category or into that world, stuff like this just really doesn't do it for you. It's a great knife. It'll work great. It will uh, do the trick. And it's uh, affordable. Uh, it is made in China as well. But it's just not exciting. And I don't know... Uh, I don't know why that bothers me so much, but it kind of does. It's just not exciting. Anyway, uh, Tri-State got his channel back, so that's pretty cool. I guess pretty much everybody assumed that he would anyway. But if you'd like to support my channel, there's a link to Patreon below, or uh, you can join the membership. I'm going to do some giveaways uh, in the next few. Probably give this one away. I'm going to give away the Praxis. I'm going to give away this uh, little fixed blade. It's actually quite good. Um, maybe some others. I don't have many to give away, but the ones I do have, I'm going to go ahead and give them away. I'd like to do it for Patreon or members. I'd like to do something for patrons and members, but I'd like to do something for just the uh, just the uh, viewers in general, the subscribers. Look, that little bit of dirt right there is driving me crazy. I know that's dumb. Got it. So, be on the lookout for that. Make sure you're good to each other, love each other. Remember, life is short, so go buy yourself a knife. Later.